In this video, we're overclocking the Intel Core i9-13900KS processor all the way up to 6.2 GHz in 5 minutes or less using the Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero motherboard and EK water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture on how to overclock this kind of a system. Please don't outright copy the settings from this video and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at the longer scatterbencher guide that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to XMP2. This enables the use of the Intel Extreme Memory Profile 3.0 technology and will make the DDR5 memory run at its rated speed of DDR5-7200. Selecting XMP2 means the motherboard will load the complete XMP profile. Set ASUS Multicore Enhancement to Enabled Remove All Limits. This will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and lets the CPU run at unlimited power indefinitely. Set DRAM frequency to DDR5-7600 MHz. This effectively overclocks the memory to DDR5-7600. Note that we retain the memory XMP timings because we selected XMP2 earlier. Set performance core ratio to by core usage. This enables us to configure a dynamic p-core overclock as we can configure the maximum allowed p-core ratio for a given number of active p-cores. Set a 1-core to 4-core ratio limit to 62. Set 5-core to 8-core ratio limit to 57. Enter the specific performance core submenu. Here we can limit the maximum ratio for each p-core individually regardless of the by-core usage configuration. We can also define the specific per p-core adaptive voltage for the specific p-core ratio limit. Set performance core 0, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 specific ratio limit to 62. Set performance core 1 specific ratio limit to 61. Set performance core 7 specific ratio limit to 60. Leave the specific performance core submenu. Set efficient core ratio to sync all cores. This will force all E cores to run at the same frequency. Set all core ratio limit to 45. Enter the AVX related controls submenu. Now we can adjust the AVX negative ratio offset, which lowers the P core ratio when using AVX. The offset is referenced against the per P core ratio limit, which we just configured. Set AVX2 ratio offset to per core ratio limit to user specify. Set AVX2 ratio offset to 5. Leave the AVX related controls submenu. Enter the DG plus VRM submenu. Here we can make changes to the voltage regulator configuration. We adjust the VRM load line to minimize the V droop, which is the voltage drop when the CPU goes from idle to full load. We choose the VRM load line that provides a V droop that stably undervolts the CPU in a heavy all core workload like Prime95. Set CPU load line calibration to level 6. Leave the DG plus VRM submenu. Set global core SVID voltage to adaptive mode. This allows us to control the voltage associated with the highest point of the voltage frequency curve. The adaptive voltage set maps to what's called the OC ratio. The OC ratio is equal to the highest configured CPU ratio. In our case, that's 62x. The voltage between 62x and the next VF point, 60x, is interpolated by the CPU. Set additional turbo mode CPU core voltage to 1.435. Set high DRAM voltage mode to enabled. This enables memory voltage higher than 1.4 volt, which we need for our memory overclock. Set DRAM VDD voltage to 1.45. Set DRAM VDDQ voltage to 1.45. Then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 21.21% in Geekbench 5. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU P core clock is 5533 MHz and the average CPU E core clock is 4494 MHz with 1.19 volts. The average CPU temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 25.7 and 30.7 degrees Celsius. 
The average CPU package power is 313.6 watts. I thank you for watching and I want to thank my patrons for the support and see you next time.